Back in the kitchen now uh, with a registered dietitian. This is Amy Shaneberger from Aurora Bake here. Good morning. Good to see you. You too. It's been a while. I, I always love yeah. it when you come because you're always getting us in shape, getting us healthy. And today we're talking about gluten-free lunches because a lot of kids uh, are doing, and adults are doing right. the gluten-free thing, and it's made a big difference in, in these kids' lives. Right. First of all, why do gluten-free? Why are moms doing this and dads? Well, there's um, a couple different reasons. One reason is for um, for celiac disease. The only way to treat celiac disease, which is um, a disorder where you can't tolerate gluten, which is found in wheat, rye, barley, oats, and some other grains. Which is a lot of stuff, basically, yeah. from crackers so, to breads to noodles, you know. And that can cause um, abdominal pain, weight loss, uh, malabsorption. Um, so the gluten-free diet can help with those symptoms. And now a newer thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, mm -hmm. is for children that has have autism. Um, there's um, some moms will be doing a gluten-free diet to help with that. There's it's kind of new. Um, more studies kind of need to be done to see if it is really beneficial. But it doesn't hurt to try it. Right. Um, and so the gluten-free diet can help with behaviors and that can occur with. If with you autism. If you talk to some my aunt moms who have tried it, they swear by it. Um, and, and uh, you know, it may not work for everyone, but it right. might. So uh, might be worth a try, that's for sure. So it's tough, though. You're, you know, all the kids are eating, you know, all their fun lunches at school, and we want to make these gluten-free lunches fun, too. Right. Um, so Amy brought along some wonderful yeah. ideas. First of all, my kids' favorite, a Lunchable. Um, which are outrageously expensive, I yeah. have to say. And not, not all that good healthy, for so. you. Yeah, and I always find out like the night before, oh, we're going to a field trip, I need a Lunchable. And it's like, ah, you can make right. your own Lunchables It's so at easy home. to make your yeah. own. And you, so, can, um, you could use this for a non-gluten-free diet, but for the gluten-free diet we used, um, these are some crackers that are gluten-free. They're um, Blue Diamond Almond Nut Thins. And they're yummy. Let me tell they you, really good. Even, whether you're doing the gluten-free thing or not, I had those recently. I was like, yum, I couldn't stop eating yeah. them. And there's lots of different flavors. They have like cheese flavored and then like just plain. So this no flour ranch. in those at all. Right. This uses rice flour and okay. then there's also nut flour in it. So. Yum. And they're really crunchy. You won't you won't miss the other stuff. Right. And then so, so, yeah, we got our little crackers here. And then you could just put them in a small little snack size okay. thing. And Love that. And then we cut up some, some cheddar cheese. Some some all nat natural cheese, which most cheeses are gluten free. Okay. Um, this is just a mild cheddar from the deli. You okay. can get craft cheese, or if you're I trying can start to bagging that up, watch the cholesterol. We also have some saran, saran wrap. wrap. Okay. Package. Some carrots. Um, some some turkey so to breast. So balance it out, right? You can do. Um, actually, Festival has turkey breast that says gluten free right on the label. Um, right by the price actually so that makes it really clear that that's a good choice yeah exactly. so that's where I got this turkey from and I love that some grapes and then a little treat in there yeah actually chocolate and like candy bars are, are gluten free so um, so then the kids won't that have to follow the gluten free diet won't feel quite as left out if they can have candy too and um, you don't want to be totally deprived. I, I tell you, and some grapes too. I'd be perfectly happy with this lunch this is cute to put the little um, veggies in or fruit Get that um, you can put the veggies in there, like dressing. Dip. This is, I have um, craft dressing, which is light, so it's not totally fat free, but a little bit lower in fat to Love dip with that. The Love that. vegetables. Craft well, will actually state allergens on their food label, so that okay. makes it a little bit easier. Good to, to know. And Amy brought some super adorable lunch bags. Now, in here, we've. Um, We've frozen the juice. Right. I love that idea. Keep it's 100% it nice fruit juice, which usually whole fruit is preferred over fruit juice, but that is fruit juice is something that you can have on a gluten-free diet. Sure, and, and a yogurt So in I here. froze it, and then you can use it as an ice pack to make what sure everything idea. stays safe. So I'll keep packing our, our homemade gluten-free Lunchable, and let's talk about lunch okay. option number two. So the next one is a, a non-witch or an unwitch, and it's a kind of a wrap that uses either lettuce uh, leaf lettuce or turkey as a wrap instead of using an actual flour wrap. Okay. Um, so that helps. So you want to show us how to free. put that together? And actually, <clears throat> those um, lettuce wraps and things like that are really popular for people watching their carbs and all that. Yeah. They're tasty. They've got the crunch. Even some sub places are doing, you know, subs. That's kind of where I got yeah. the idea with, from. <laughs> uh, the, um, with, so you we, take some um, leaf lettuce. Okay, let me this is it. actually romaine. I'll get a paper towel and we can dry that off a little bit. We want it nice and crisp, right? We don't want right. it soggy. You take a few pieces so that it can wrap around all the good ingredients on the inside. And I'll slice up some cucumber, which I okay, love to tuck, be great. tuck in a sandwich. 
Yeah, so I think, yeah, bread. usually taking like four leaf lettuce and kind of make like a little round wrap. Okay. And then um, this is the turkey that I got that's gluten-free. Most like fresh meats are naturally gluten-free. Anything that's processed, so like deli meats, you really have to be a little more cautious with to make sure they don't have any additives that contain gluten. Um, and then I've got our um, mild cheddar cheese. Smells yummy. And some sprouts. You can be creative and use whatever vegetables that you think your kid will eat, here? and they can actually maybe help you prepare it. Then they might be more willing to to eat it if they help make it. So, um, oh, one thing I didn't mention is it's good to put the saran wrap right underneath the to help wrap, the wrap it up, and then that helps to hold it all together. I have some shredded carrots that add lots of vitamins and, and tomato. Some tomatoes, I actually deseeded it when I chopped it, so then it doesn't get soggy. Great idea. And I put some scallions on there already. Oh, I beat you to the punch. I like lots of onions, okay, I guess. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so some you... green onions or scallions, whatever you want to call it. And then um, you can put dressing on it. Again, I use the craft because it, it states that um, the allergen's in it and it does not have wheat or gluten. So this would be a safe choice, and you can just kind of drizzle it over the top then. Um, it's... Not open. Do we want to add it, or you could you know put what? it on we'll the do, side? We'll too. do it on the side, and we'll okay. let you, we're running out of time. We'll let you wrap that up. Um, I think I'm going to add a couple more pieces of lettuce over the top. That. So you wrap it up basically like a burrito. Right. I can help you there. But the plastic down first is, is, a, is a great that idea. That usually helps it keep it all intact. Yeah. So. All right. Hey, we'll be good. Amy, thank you so much. You're great welcome. options for gluten free. It doesn't have to be boring. It actually looks really yummy. Right, it's very good. I would, you know, you can eat it even if you're not on a gluten free diet. So, thanks, Amy. Thank Appreciate you. it. Coming up next, we're headed to Pete Toniak's house. His wife, Sarah, makes some great bars. You might want to tuck in your lunch bag. We'll be back.